Okay, 1969 AB5. What we have here, instead of the previous one, was just the area under one curve that's revolved. Here we're going to have the area between two curves. And so we have the curves y equal x squared and y equal 2x. Now to find this, we're going to, to find that area, we're going to need to find the points of intersection there. And that tells us that the points of intersection will be 0 and 2. So finding the area, that is the integral from 0 to 2, we always do top minus bottom, which gives us 2x minus x squared, then dx. So we have the integral from 0 to 2 of 2x minus x squared dx, and we go right ahead and integrate that. That's 2x to the second over 2, which ends up being just x squared, and then x to the 3 over 3, and the limits of integration are from 0 to 2. We can see that the second expression will turn out to be 0. The first one is 4 minus 8 thirds, which turns out to be 4 thirds. All right, so that's part A, finding the area of region R. Next thing we're going to do is find the volume of the solid obtained when R is revolved around the y-axis. So we set up a simple graph. We take a representative strip. We spin that around the y-axis. It makes a cylindrical shell shape. And its volume is 2 pi r h, or the surface area of that cylindrical shell is 2 pi r h. And the volume of all the cylindrical shells will be, we we'll bring out the 2 pi. We have integral from 0 to 2. The radius is just the x coordinate, 2 pi r h. And h will be the distance from, for any x value between the top curve and the bottom curve and the dx gives the thickness to the shell. So we have 2 pi r h. We're going to multiply out the, uh, distribute the x's, and then go ahead and integrate. So we get 2 pi integral from 0 to 2, 2x two squared minus x to the third dx. Integrating, we get 2 pi times 2x to the third over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4 from 0 to 2. And this is uh, very similar to the uh, antiderivative that we just worked with and the limits of integration we worked with in the previous problem, but it's a completely different problem. So we can see that the second expression will come out to be 0. The first one is 16 thirds minus 16 fourths and then minus 0 and that ends up being 8 pi over 3. So that's, uh, that's all there is for that one. This was a pretty straightforward one. We have a, an area and we have a volume revolved around the y-axis. So when it's revolved around the y-axis, we're going to normally use cylindrical shells. When it's revolved around the x-axis, we're going to use uh, disks and washers. And the reason being because they both give us dx's, which allow us to leave everything in x and not have to convert things to y in order to carry out the integration. Okay, then we'll go on to the next one.